Hi everyone, Lisa Nessel here with Iron Hack Fast Forward, where we sit down with alumni to catch up to see where they are in their journey. So I have Adam Lopez here. Thank you so much for joining me, Adam. I'll go Welcome. ahead, uh, feel free to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Adam Lopez. Uh, I've been a, I'm a senior developer uh, right now. I've been doing now development for a little bit over seven years. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to speak about my journey and, and let everyone know um, you know what the best routes to take to get to theirs awesome so to kick things off what were you doing before iron hack sure so uh before iron hack i was working as a retail manager at a pretty large uh retail uh chain here in, in the florida area um but i hit a glass ceiling right that was pretty much uh i either had to wait for somebody to retire in their position or i would have to move out of state uh in order to get promoted and Neither was working for me at the time. I just had my second child. Um, so I ended up retiring from Publix, uh, taking out all of the stock that I had and going to a coding boot camp in, in Miami. Uh, during that time, I traveled back and forth from Tampa to Miami every week. Uh, so Monday through Friday, I would be in Miami. Friday, I would drive back home to see my family um, and, and spend time with my, with my children, my newborn daughter, um, and then drive back on Monday, right, to go straight back at it. So this was this was serious dedication for you, right? And you know, when we look at where you are, you enrolled in 2015, one of the first boot camps we ever did, right? You know, seven years later, you're a senior PHP developer. We weren't teaching PHP then in web development, right? We, we're still not, right? We're teaching HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. How has those learnings in the boot camp been able to translate to picking up new languages and frameworks? Sure. So I mean. A lot of the frameworks and, and languages are all syntax based, right? So once you understand the documentation, uh, you understand the syntax of that particular language, right? Um, when I when I was going to the boot camp, I, I learned pretty heavy Ruby and Ruby on Rails, mm -hmm. uh, and using those foundational tools, I was able to to integrate that with object oriented programming with PHP. Um, and and honestly, looking around the area, you know that was the, the more predominant jobs were were in PHP, right? So I had to pivot. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to, to kind of get a, a, a local gig, right? Um, so, so yeah, so, um, I, you know, that, that was one of the one of the parts that I would say. Yeah. So, right, we're saying, you know, seven years down the road, looking back, how has taking Iron Hack paid off for you, you know, emotionally, financially, overall well-being? Yeah, so, you know, I'm not going to lie, I still have the occasional retail nightmare every now and then, <laughs> but um, luckily I'm not going back, so... Uh, I think that, you know, emotionally, you know, the, the, the things are still there, but they help me grow and, and keep me thirsty, if yeah. that makes sense, to like continue to learn. Um, you know, I did have to take a little bit of a step back when I first got into this career because um, I was new, right? So it makes sense. Like, you know, when I was, what I was making at Publix, I didn't think I was going to be making as a, as a, as a uh, computer programmer right out of the bat. Um, so I had to take a little bit of a cut, but, you know, I, I think the 5% cut that I did take, you know, helped exponentially, right, in the years of experience and learning that I had, uh, because I was able to increase my earnings like 150%, right? So it's crazy. Yeah. Um, and, and, and honestly, that was, you know, that was one of the key things. And I, and I knew going into it that it was going to take time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was going to take a little bit of time to do uh, I knew that, you know, going in you know, immediately, I wasn't going to be making, you know, as much money as I thought I was going to be making, and it would be a slow kind of race. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, pacing myself after time, uh, I was able to, to meet the goal that I wanted to meet. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, that initial glass door salary shouldn't be used as what you should be earning, but more of like your North Star, right? And right. like how to get there is super important. So, you know, for people that are just graduating, right, and really fresh, and maybe feeling overwhelmed, what would you tell them to focus on, you know, one year out, two years out to build that skill set level, right? And also like sure. increasing, um, uh, like increasing their titles, like what would you tell that, you know, that freshy person to focus on? Yeah, so I, I think that, you know, the one thing in my experience was to continuously work on the framework or frameworks that you're looking to get into. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just going to the boot camp and, and, and taking a JavaScript course is not going to continuously make you understand how the ins and outs work in real world situations, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I think Iron Hack taught me a great deal of like how to handle certain situations, uh, but you're not going to know until you're really in the in the thick of the weeds, right? Mm -hmm. um, so continuously going through uh, courses online, uh, taking advantage of any free or paid online websites that you could go to that help you kind of grow and learn a little bit more. Uh, the resources that Iron Hack provides after you graduate uh, also was something that I took advantage of too. Um, because, you know, there are some times where I had to reach out to the, to the Slack channel just to get a question on something. And, and luckily, some of, the, some of the older uh, devs were still on there that they can answer it, right? Uh, another thing that I would say that really helped me that I, that I don't hear a lot of people talk about is interview. Interview places. Because in the, in, I can't tell you how many times I've heard no during an interview, but I, I've learned yeah. throughout each interview what to say, what to do, what companies are looking for what skills I need to polish on, right? Mm -hmm. um, so don't be scared of interviewing and hearing a no, right? Because yeah. any time that a company gives you even five minutes of their time is is a win. Yeah, no, that that's super interesting, right? And like nothing grounds you like an interview. Oh yeah, right? Like sure. nothing will humble you <laughs> like sure. an interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's best. So, um, you know, people looking to do Iron Hack now, right? Like what would you tell them as advice? Yeah, so I think now, you know, I, I would say to get started on online classes to understand what it is that you're going to get yourself into, right? Um, you know, during my cohort when I was there, there were there were a lot of people that I don't think knew what they were getting into, right? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And it was just the beginning. So, um, but, I, you know, honestly, you know, that I don't think they knew what they were getting in themselves into and, and would get nervous or, or anxious right during the courses because it goes so fast um mm -hmm. so so you know anything you learn in one day you're not going to re be repeating in the next day um so take really good notes uh make sure that you have a one note it's free right get, get a one note and make sure you have either that or a piece of paper and a pencil yeah. right next to you um because you're going to be flying through so much information but i still to this day refer to my iron hack notebook like i have <laughs> my desk from when i yeah straight up that's uh, amazing because was, yeah because it was good information so i i you know i keep it with me uh all the time because you know it, it, i i wrote notes in there that um that really helped me even to this day awesome um so you know i think final question right like what was the most important part about iron hack for you Um, the most important part, aside from the networking, everything was, I think the, the drive it gave me, right. The self-confidence that I can do some shit that I've never done before. Yeah. And I think that was the main like motivator for me, like to be able to do something that I was never truly able to do in the past or even had a conscious idea of, mm -hmm. um, and, and execute it seven years later right like is phenomenal and um i take that you know with me everywhere i go right i always talk about it and, and it's and it's hard because when you try to talk about what you do for a living around other people who aren't developers it makes mm -hmm. it very difficult to like give yourself a pat on the back yeah. right but, <laughs> but yeah yeah i always i always say to students when they graduate that like you know like you were really brave most yeah. people don't do this and this is really hard and even though everyone has that imposter syndrome at the end Right. You know, like you did something that most people will never do in their lives and that's take that risk. So, well, Adam, thank you so much. Congratulations for all your success. Hopefully we thank get you. to see everyone in the Tampa tech scene soon. And for those yeah. looking to enroll, feel free to check out the links below. My dog is very excited and barking a little bit here. Um, but have a good day and thanks for joining us.